I'm starting again. Sorry about the deal of delay. But anyway, uh, I'm going to have to start all over. Uh, I want to talk about these little... Uh, most people, women included, they carry a purse, a backpack, a satchel of some sort, a briefcase. And especially if you're a bug out person, you, uh, you don't want to carry this big, super bug out bag all the way. Let's say you got a meeting on the third fourth floor or an apartment, a high rise building, or a nice office building, or whatever. And your bug out bag is in your car, uh, somewhat below you in a park, car, garage, or whatever. But I always believe you should carry something small, you know something that you you're, uh, you know you really need I have run across some of these little fanny pack deals this one here is padded it's got little compartments inside zippers it's got you know and it's made for like carrying a, a small uh, uh, tablet or something in your cell phone and it's got a little place in the back uh, that one's a pretty good one but I like I've got so many but I picked out two of them here I like this one carries two water bottles one on each side it has a place here you can carry quite a bit of stuff and then it has a zipper under here that you can put another compartment and then it has a place here you can put some tools or something handy to get to and even on the bottom you could put uh, uh, one of them cellophane uh, emergency blankets you know that wad up to nothing you know what I'm saying or something like that you can put on the bottom of it I like this one. I use this one a lot. I don't even when I go to my doctor. He's in a high-rise apartment uh, complex building. Even though I got a bug out bag in the car, I want something like this more than just uh, what's on me: keys, wallet, belt, so on and so forth. I want a little extra. You know, we could get trapped in an elevator. I ain't gonna walk up to the sixth floor or whatever. I don't ride elevators like most humans do. But what if the elevator gets trapped? I carry some baggies in here. Uh, uh, let's say uh, I gotta pee. I mean, maybe I gotta poop. I mean, uh, when it comes down to modesty, there really ain't much modesty. It's better than letting it run out your pants leg or whatever. Carry something that you can dispose of it in the corner or whatever to your rescue. I mean, everybody poops and everybody pees, for God's sakes. Uh, but you might have uh, some water, some candy, I'm a diabetic, uh, some medicines that you really want with you clothes. Get one of these. Get a satchel. Uh, I found out backpacks and stuff since the bombings and stuff are really, people are like, ooh, he's got, you know, they're not, they're more concerned. You wear a fanny pack, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but my age, I don't give a shit what people think about me. Or a woman's purse. We women are great because they have big purses, little purses, whatever. But you can find a briefcase. You can find anything that suits you. But you can put stuff in it. Carry more than you actually could carry. You know, even in the summertime, you can get a big T-shirt and cover this up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you know, four or five X T-shirt, they sell them. You know, you don't have to be tight and everything else. You can be a little loose in them. But, now that's what I would say about carrying stuff. Now another thing I found. Sorry about the bouncing. I have got a bunch of these little GPS things. This is Garmin, or whatever the hell I call them. And I, I have bought them over the years. This is a Tom Tom. I, uh, I've got three, I've got one in the bus, two in the, uh, uh, two in the van, and I think another one in my pickup. But anyway, and then I bought a bigger one. Oh, I just turned this one on by mistake. But anyway, uh, but uh, then I bought another one. I mean, I've got plenty of them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine of them. Uh, and if you don't agree, you just push the button off here. Let's see that. I don't know. How they but you know, you know how they work. I mean, it's not. They're not you know, hard, whatever. But, uh, I found out that, uh, you can reprogram these and, 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 and reset them. You just need a little cord like this to your computer. And pretty easy and simple to do. I have a friend of mine, she's a geocaster. 
I don't know if you know what that is, but they they search for little boxes and hidden places, and they got little things in them and so on and so forth. Well, she said that uh, you can go uh, online, and she's going to show me, and you can take some of these. I like this little pocket one, and you hold it in your hand, this little pocket one. Well, it'd be great for hot fighting roads and stuff like that. It'll even show you the terrain. You can program it to, for hunting. You can program it for anything you want. I mean, they're sort of widespread. A lot of times in a situation, unless it's an it's EMP. To highlight it or... I don't see the talk to you. Uh, I don't want to turn it off. Uh... I lost concentration, but they're great for you out hunting. They'll show you the trails, old roads, so on. You can program whatever you want into it. You can even isolate them into an area like Oklahoma. You, know, you can even get worse, you know, more details than that. Uh, I have bought so many of these that I'm going to mess with some of them. I'm going to keep some of the bigger ones. I put a big one in each one of the car. I got a Tom Tom in my bus that I like because it sets it's big like this and then I got this big one for the, the pickup got another big one like this for the van and then I've got two little ones like this I call one Hansel and one Gretel and I like to hear them argue <laughs> but anyway uh, I have uh, unless it's something that maybe the military or whatever could knock these out because these come from straight from the satellite and most generally even if you're invaded or whatever, uh, even whoever it is wants some satellites. You know, they might not have the means to put them back up, this, that, and the other. They might have the means to block the transmission of them, you know, for a while or everything else. But I found out that when these are in use, they get a better signal than any cell phone. I mean, they will show you the terrain, elevation, roads, filling stations, motels, hotels. This sort of give you, it's a small like pocket atlas is what it is, basically. And it, uh, they're really handy to use. Now if, if they come where they're not usable because of uh, there's no more satellites or uh, there's a EMP that's gonna knock everything out for 50, 60 years. But most generally it's floods, tornadoes, uh, hurricanes, fires. Uh, that type of disaster even in uh, you know some countries has got you blocked from uh, from GPS but here in America you know if you're on your foot you're at, at foot like you know walking for this that and the other you don't you ain't got a map with you you got something like that carry them you can carry a lot of little things in one of these little bags I've got maybe 25 30 of these little bags I like this one the best because it gives me an option of two water bottles. I have one that has the water bottles, water bottles already in them. And I apologize for not getting out and making another video so soon. But another, I found another little deal. These you buy at Walmart. Or you can get them anywhere else. But I like, bought these. Well, I've got four or five of these. And what these do, uh, they're little bitty uh, pocket batteries. See? And this one's 100% charged. And see it and they hold that charge for a long long time all right you can plug this into your cell phone that's what the design would mainly to use as a cell phone uh, but I'll tell you what else I've done learned with them I've got the right cords well you plug it in here this holds a battery charge for quite a while uh, now, when you're out there walking, don't turn, just leave this constantly on, because, I mean, if you walk a mile, then recheck it. Walk another mile, recheck it. You know, don't have to, you know, it showed you what a half a mile is ahead of you, wait, you know, to, you know, I don't know how good your memory is, but uh, I found out about a mile of terrain is about all I can remember, and then I'll turn it on again, check everything else out. But you can plug these in, it's got two uh, USB ports. That's a charging port, and it'll charge them. And then I've got a pack that goes with this. It run off my solar on the um, like on my backpack. But you, devices are great to use, 
but there's a lot, a lot, a lot of, and I can't say a lot of, uses for these. And other, other instruments, like cell phones, this, that, and the other. But I found out these will reach out for a cell phone. Well, it'll give you the terrain, it'll give you the streets, it'll give you the roadway, it'll give you everything you really need. Especially if you're driving with this, that, and the other. That's what they're really designed to do. But they're also designed for hunting, geocasting, that's what uh, you know, uh, all kinds of things like that. And uh, they're easy to program. You can get them, program them on the computer. She's going to show me how to program some of these to, for my other uses that I want. I always buy more stuff than I need, especially for, I don't know why this thing is. He keeps wanting to come off. I keep touching the button, that's what I did. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they'll come on, you know, like this. They plug up to a cigarette lighter. You can plug them into AC adapter, but they plug up to a cigarette lighter. Got quite a long cord. Uh, this one here has got all, I mean, they're pretty, you're, they're pretty explanatory. You know, they're not that big. Everybody says, that, well, they're outdated. I use my cell phone. Well, that's great. But I found out a cell phone sometimes just ain't going to reach out. These will reach out, trust me. I have, I have used them, and, and I've used them for years. And I like to use them when I... I have found places when the, it ain't on a map, it ain't on GPS, uh, that I like to bug out with. And then I check all my locations, fire roads, and uh, let's say primitive maps. Uh, that you know, Maybe the, the fire road was cut back in the 1940s. But they did a lot of fire roads back here during the Depression, even, and kept everybody busy and employed. But they're still out there. You know, uh, they might be rough and rusty, but you could get a small vehicle and maybe a larger vehicle down them. And, uh, you know, you need to stay tuned to what you need at the time. Do you need to be in a population? Do you not need to be in a population? It, everybody depends on their aspects. I've heard a lot, but always carry a bag. A bug out bag is great. Mine weighs, I don't know, 35, 45 pounds. Uh, it's too big for me to carry into the doctor's office. Uh, he would probably think I was crazy and send me over to the psychiatrist next. But this one here, I like it because it's got the water bottle deals on it. And since I have dry mouth cancer, that helps a lot for dry mouth. It's got a place on the bottom that you could put out and put a... a, a, a I like to use them uh, fire blankets. They're aluminum, whatever. They keep the heat in. They're, you know, and uh, I bought just the other day some uh, pocket warmers. Stuff that you wouldn't want just, you know, uh, in your own pockets like the your keys, your wallet chat stick, whatever you got, carry in your main pocket. Well, the women are smarter than we are. They carry a great big purse. But men's society, uh, they don't want to carry a man purse. They get away maybe with a man bum, but not a man purse. But anyway, uh, backpack, since the bombings and stuff, uh, they look at you like, what the hell is he carrying a backpack everywhere he goes? These fanny packs, as fat as I am, you still think it's just part of my fat. I just buy an extra large t-shirt or extra large shirt, put it over it, and go, go. Somebody sees it, they tell us a fanny pack. They don't, you know, I mean, like old people can get away with wearing a fanny pack. Now, I don't think young people would, but uh, I, I bought a bunch of these. I've got different kinds. This one here is padded. It's got more compartments, more for a business type. It's got, uh, it's got the padded deal where you can put your uh, tablet in it. You can carry it over your shoulder. It's most of them are camouflage green or camo or whatever. Uh, but everybody suits themselves. But what I'm saying is, try one of these. Try get. I mean, everybody's usually bought these before they decided that uh, there was a app on your cell phone that would give you GPS. But there's a lot of uses for these that you wouldn't be using for your phone. You see what I'm saying? Think about it, I gotta let you go, and I'll talk to you later. Everything seems to be fine. I told you about the battery pack, the solar deal. I don't know what else is in here. Let me let you go. I'll check this out and see if I can get it posted.
take care. Have a great day. Sorry about not getting back with you so soon.